Hey, what's up guys, it's Angus and welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm going to be showing you how to extrude your Minecraft skin in Simina 40. <laughs> If you, this is going to be the finished product, this is my finished product of my um, skin, so we're going to do this today. So just sit back and watch my tutorial. So um, what I'm going to do is open up Simulator 40, as usual, um, you'll get this. Now there will be um, a, um, a rig in the description, there will be a couple of stuff in the description as well. So um, when you download it, you will get a rig called FMR5 Revix at it, and you just want to open that up. Like that, just if this comes up, just press OK. Then boom, you got this. Now it's black because you haven't added your skin in yet. So what you want to do is if it's like that, you just click on that and go see the skin. You just pretty press these three dots here, and you go find your skin. So I'm just gonna go find my skin. All right, there you go. So there's your skin. It's all there. Now the extruding is basically making it more professional and cooler I guess so um this is your skin I guess if you just it will look different because you have a different skin so what you want to do is go to layers then turn these all off and go back to attributes and then what you want to do is when you click these you, you can press this um if it doesn't do that just um open this up Go to mesh and open these up. Open those like hold control. Open these. Open those up and click the blue triangles. Like hold control so you can select them all. Then press this button right here. Now this will do. You'll be able to edit it. So um, then you want to press U and L so you can make it easier to loop because you can loop with this. So and then you hold shift and just. Select all the parts that you want to extrude, like that. And I'll have to go down here and do this too, so give me a minute here. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry about that. There you go. Um, and this is like random little parts in your skin. You just like go to live select and just press control and get rid of them, like that. And that you're done. What you want to do is press D. Then go to maximum angle and change that to 91. Then change this to 1. Oh, sorry. Change it to 1 and press enter. And make sure that if if you can't put apply, just untick it or tick it. Like put real time update, turn it off like that. It look like this. So I'm gonna go back like that and press apply. Look like this. So you gotta you press U and L again. And you see these little things here. You gotta like loop them as well. Oh, you gotta press shift and loop these as two. Because most people use a cut, but I found a, a different way. So you want to do is select all these, like like so. Then you press M and R, then press set, and boom, there. So there you got those parts 3D. It's looking pretty nice so far. And now you want to do the hair. So the hair, um, it's not that hard. Um, just get out of here. Just, I think you can just click it. You just click it and press U. Oh wait, no, you don't. You have to do it another way. So you got a head, head again, head. No, you got a head data. You got an extrude mesh head. I think this is it. I'm not sure. Yes, it is. Okay. So um, what you want to do is drag this out like that. Then you want to press. Then you should go to here again. What you want to do is select all this, oh sorry, select all this, all this, like so, and just put your L, oof, oh, okay, sorry about that, um, that, then I'm going to have to get rid of this, so I'm gonna press this, control, like so, Okay. Oh, alrighty. So when you select it all, press U and I. Now invert it. So you press delete. Now you've got. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> oh no. Um, 
you also want to do the back of the head too. Like, just do everything. Um. Alright, sorry about that. So you just want to... If you accidentally deleted something, just press this button so you can go back and redo it. Alright, now nah, I can press delete. So, now that all, all the invisible stuff is gone, now we can extrude. So what you want to do is... Now you want to do the hair first. So um, what you want to do is just highlight all the hair. Like that. Then what you want to do is press D. Now you want to set up to 3 first. Like all that. Now what you want to do is make it like randomizer I guess so you press that you want to press 3 again like that then the second time you want to go ar around that like this like that then press 2 then go here and here and go 1 now as you can see it looks more 3D and if you want you can just buff it up a bit more like that and this is what the extra looks like so, um, now we're going to do the hoodie, so, I'm going to select all that, and press D, then press, then go 2, and boom, there you go. So, we've got our extrude on our head, and, do you want to go over here, go to positions, change it back to 0, like that. Now, it may look like this, but you just want to, like, shrink it a bit, like this. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, so you just want to drag it down a bit like that. There you go, like that. And now you got your hoodie. It looks pretty nice. So um, now that you got your hoodie, we can um do the jacket part. So there'll be another file in the download, and you just want to go to jacket rig, open this up, and go to skin. So your skin is that. Then you want to drag this out like that. Oops, sorry. Uh, drag it out like that. And press enable. And then go to jacket mesh. And delete everything except for the jacket part. Like this part. Just delete little pants. Like the pants. See? Let's go around it. I will probably speed this up, so, yeah. Alright, so now that you've got everything done, just press delete. Oh, there's a little bit there, sorry, then that. I'm just going to go back to here. Then go back to here and disable editing mode. Then go here again, once again, and press zero. Now that the jacket's there, um, the thing is, when, you, when, like, when you're moving it around, you're like, oh, why doesn't the jacket move with it? Because you haven't added it to a certain thing. So you want to open up FMR. Go to bones, keep opening it until um, some shoulders come up, like that, and just place it in shoulders, and now it will end. I know it looks weird, but you haven't actually fixed it yet, so let's say you want to do like a pose or something, so let's just like do a random pose, like this. I'm just doing it randomly. Let's say you want to do a pose like this. Just do like any random pose. Like that. Um, go to jacket rig and enable FDD. Now what will that do when you click on these little circle things? Hold on. So you want to go in here and unlock this because it's locked. So you go like here, and then you can like make it stretch, so you can actually like position it like this. So I just want to go to here. It might take longer than usual renders, but it's totally worth it because then you get to make a character look cool, I guess. Um, but the jacket well, can be annoying sometimes, so yeah. As you can see, it's since I've done that sort of pose, it looks weird, but that doesn't matter. Just keep playing around with it until you get the right look. Alright, 
that's the wrong, so, you know what I mean, like, like that, see, like this, then just press render, so, um, I won't be using a, a Lightroom, because there's no really need for a Lightroom for this tutorial, um, let me just edit this a bit, let me just edit this, My mouse is really sensitive, so that's why it's difficult to click things like that. I'm going to here. Bake it. Bafia. There you go. Like that. Turn the camera a bit like that. Like, smile. Like that. And move this so it's... Yeah, alright, there you go. So, that was the tutorial for you guys. So, um, if you guys enjoyed this extra tutorial, make sure you would like if you did. Everything will be in the description for you to download. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, peace.